Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at yet another player review. This is another SPC. Now, this card was released very, very recently, and I thought, okay, Raul is one of my favorite players, and I thought, okay, it's just the right thing to do because you you need only five squads for this case you need only five squads for this footy icon raul uh i think for a center forward card it looks really nice now you can play him at cam and striker as well if you guys don't use a uh, center forward formation you guys can still use him at two different version one is uh, center attacking mid the second one is striker so just looking at the card off the bat it looks really decent you know 94 pace 98 shooting 92 pass 96 dribbling and 93 physical now what we are going to be doing in this video is the same that we do in all the player review videos we're going to look at his player bio his attributes his play style his play style pluses and then we'll complete the sbc i'll show you guys what and all you have to do to come get this card and then we'll add him to the team and check his boosted stats in certain places and then we'll put him in i mean we'll play and see how his card is in game whether it is overrated or whether it's too underrated and all of that stuff now i am going to be sitting in a weird angle because my neck is paining so yeah i hope you guys can bear with me now looking at his player bio he has five star five star weak foot and skill move which is really good and he is a left footed striker so i'm guessing playing him at right center forward is the right thing to do because last time when we did tim kale he was right footed and i played him at right striker and we had a bad experience so i'm gonna be playing rahul at right center forward as a right forward so i think that is the best thing to do now apart from that cam striker icon rahul all of those things 94 pace 92 acceleration and 95 sprint speed looks it looks decent enough for me i'm not gonna lie i don't know why i feel like okay i'm content with it uh it is what it is sometimes people feel like 94 pace for a center forward or a striker might be low we'll see how it is in game guys we'll see how it is in game and looking at shooting he has 98 shooting 97 short par 96 long shot 99 volleys now if i'm not wrong once we add him to the team he should be getting 99 sh uh, short par and he should be getting 96 penalties as well so as of now he has 99 finishing and 99 attacking position and 99 volleys it's long shot i don't know if it improves uh, but i'm pretty sure his short par will go to 99 and his penalties will go to 96 and passing as well he has 99 short par 87 free kick accuracy he has 99 vision 94 curve 86 short i mean long pass uh 84 curve might be a bit low it looks like he has finished short I mean we'll test it out we'll test it out and looking at dribbling yes 99 ball control 93 dribbling and 99 reaction now ball control also should be getting plus four which will go up to 97 uh, which was also pretty decent in my opinion and looking at physical he has 99 heading accuracy under defending and 99 jumping under physical and he has 97 stamina and all these stats look really nice for what you have to put in for an icon card now 98 rated icon you need to put five squads in and in that five squads two are the silver and bronze teams so only technically you're putting in three squads and out of those three squads one is an 82 rated squad that's it there's no team of the season or there's no inform you need to put so basically a silver squad a bronze squad and an 82 rated squad these three are nothing everybody can do it and the main thing is an 88 rated squad with a real madrid player men or women's team and then a team of the season in that as well or a team of the week and then the next squad is a 90 rated squad with the la liga player and a team of the season or team of the week player in i think that's actually decent 88 rated squad and a 90 rated squad is pretty decent i'm not going to be counting the 82 rated squad the bronze and the silver team squads so i think for a five squad uh, squad build sbc this is a good good card on paper so far uh, let us look at his play style and play style pluses he has chip shot plus finish shot plus he has power shot tiki taka plus he has pinched pass he has flare uh first touch trivella he has quick step and he has technical plus so even if you use him at cam he'll have really good stuff like play style in cam because of this technical plus uh because like a midfielder you know you'll be able to do a lot with him basically if you finish this card as well just from looking at on paper too on paper now we'll test him out uh, i need to complete one squad build i'll show you guys how it looks so you need to complete a 90 rated squad with the la liga team i mean la liga player 
real madrid or real madrid cf player in uh, your starting 11 with team of the season team of the week 88 rated squad for a lone player if you guys don't want to get the whole thing but you just want to try out how he is before you want to complete these two big squads whether you want to actually go into it you just can you don't even have to do all this you didn't you don't even have to do all this you just have to come and do this 82 rated spot you'll get a five match loan you can see how it is for you guys in game if it's good enough for you guys if you, if you feel like okay he might be in my team full time then you guys can complete everything else except for this 90 and this 88 i think everybody else will be happy about these three because it's a silver team a bronze team and an 82 rated and for an 82 rated you get a five match loan card so i think that is a win-win for many so i'll just complete this and then we'll put him in the team and see uh, how he is from there onwards okay we have added uh, all to the team now this is how his uh, card looks after adding him to the team because of his full game he gets 99 sprint speed which is really nice and he gets 99 shot power and 96 penalties like i told he gets 99 dribbling uh, not 99 97 dribbling he gets 99 agility so pretty much his dribbling stats go up to around 99 i would say or 98 like that and then even strength goes up to 94 so pretty decent card you know i would say for the squad builds you're gonna do i think it's worth it now let us actually get into a game and see how he is this is the team i'm gonna be using uh just for the sake of testing this card guys just for the sake of testing this card a 97 full game team so yeah we have a bunch of cards let me know if you guys like are interested in seeing any specific player review now most of these guys should be there on the channel if you guys go back go to the channel and have a look most of these cards will have reviews on them now let me know i'm just gonna you know go like this and if you guys spot any card that you feel like uh you don't have but you want to get it from the market and you don't know how it is let me know in the comments i will definitely try to do i packed bruno yesterday so yeah let me know i would i'm down to do more player reviews but yeah let us hop on to the game guys i was actually thinking of doing a player review for ngoko not gonna lie but then i don't know why the uh, the plan just dropped guys so if you guys want to see a player review oh my god why do i decide to play god squads whenever i do player reviews i don't understand i feel guilty you know because there was one comment which stole uh, why this is why you don't get uh, this is why people don't something it was i forgot to, i even forgot the comment because i didn't pay much attention to it but that stayed at the back of my head thinking okay maybe people don't rate when it is a squad battles but <laughs> with squad battles you get to find out so much about the card it just makes sense so far he has good ball control i'm not gonna lie the ball control looks really good composure was nice i liked how composed he was when he got the ball okay okay this card might be a new normal for my team i'm not gonna lie i don't know whom i'll take out though maybe i'll just change the formation of my main squad i will show you guys the main squad if you guys are interested uh but i don't know this card looks good like the ball control is really good pace doesn't feel like it is too off like his acceleration was a bit slow but look at the way he sprints it feels like it makes up for the thing he has good shot on him guys he has a good shot on him not gonna lie i mean we played for 24 minutes of in-game time so far his shooting feels really good except for his acceleration uh his sprint speed is really nice his uh, shooting like i said is really nice his dribbling is nice his shot pass is like it's pinpoint accuracy that's how i wanted to describe it it's insane it's insane now why i don't know if i'll be playing him at center forward i'll most probably go 4-3-3 attack and put him at cam because of the fact that i already have 99 Haaland, 98 Fiskers. so i might use one of those two as my main strikers and play him uh, attacking mid along with uh, Modric and Cruz. 
I do have Zidane as well, but I feel like Modric and Cruz have always been like my favorite. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll put anybody else ahead of them. Not gonna lie. Zidane is also a crazy guy, but I don't know. I just I love the players that I play with. I mean, I use the players that I love playing with rather than the higher rated players. That's one main reason I did uh, this. This particular card, this Raul card, was like. it was because i like the player so that is one main reason i completed this card so far it looks good like except for the acceleration it doesn't uh, i don't see anything bad with the card like he has good speed he has he has good passing he has good dribbling he has good shooting all of these things are really good except for the acceleration now if you guys want to fix the acceleration i don't know if applying a specific chemistry style will help i've never seen Uh, like it's been a while since i put chemistry styles guys I'm, i'll be honest it's been a while since i put chemistry styles on on cards so i don't know how it works i forgot so let me know if you guys have completed this uh, if putting chemistry style fixes the acceleration i'm really curious to know but yeah so far so good i would definitely suggest you guys complete this sbc because like i said a silver squad a bronze squad an 82 rated squad To complete these three, you're getting a uh, match. I mean, if you just complete the 82 rated squad, go to this SPC, complete the, the complete the 82 rated squad, you get a five match loan with this card. Get the card, put him in a game, put a chemistry style which uh, increases his pace and stuff, and then see how he is in game. Remove the chemistry style, play again, and if you feel no, just play a play a game without chemistry style. See how he feels, and then if you feel like his acceleration is low. add a chemistry style see how he is after you add a chemistry style and then if you want to get this card and add him to your team complete the other four as a bronze team a silver team an 88 rated squad and a 90 rated squad i feel like that's a pretty reasonable uh, deal for a 98 rated striker slash center forward slash center attacking mid so yeah i'm happy with this card i'm not going to lie he is definitely going to go in my team i'm going to try and implement him somewhere in my team but yeah, i'll see you guys in the next one i don't know when another pack opening is going to come i am waiting for this team 540s to be done so that i can record a fresh batch with a, a with different you know with new players or new packs or maybe it's a, a re release or whatever it is but i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling guys bye bye